Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and I want to wish you happy holidays. I wish that all your dreams come true in the new year. It has been a very tense, very crazy 2020 and I'm really happy that we're finally out, <laughs> over with and moving into the new future, new adventure. Me and Keen actually have a gift for you just to finish off this year and it's a very exciting opportunity guys. Um, I've already worked with Keen last year so for those who don't know, Keen is the one of the largest platforms for psychics, astrologers, tarot readers, any kind of metaphysical experts that you can imagine. Keen offers many different ways on how to connect with the expert, uh, whether it's an online chat or a phone call. They have somebody online there pretty much any time. So even if you go on there in the middle of the night, there is a very high chance that there will be many, many experts online that you can choose from. And of course, they do offer reviews that you can read before you contact an expert. Now, I just wanna share my experience from last year because I really, you know, I didn't just work with Keen. They gave me an opportunity to play around on the website, to contact different readers, to get readings done, you know, phone calls and chats and so on. So I did choose a few readers and I did have uh, quite a few readings from them. I did read reviews. I went by reviews, you know, even though I work in a similar industry, I'm actually pretty skeptical, believe it or not. So I went ahead and I talked to a few experts and now a year later it is pretty spooky because especially one of them was very spot on she predicted my pregnancy in 2020 she described my partner in full detail she was describing many different events that i couldn't even think of back then and now a year later i realized how spot on she was with all these little details then i contacted the other lady and it was a phone call and i gave her a couple of projects that i wanted to do and right off the bat she told me this one is going to work this one is not going to work and she was spot on as well the project that she told me wasn't gonna work did not work out the other one actually did and then i did run into someone that wasn't quite spot on maybe i just didn't connect with her energy and she didn't connect with mine but what i'm trying to say guys that if you read reviews if you feel the connection with the reader if you feel like this is someone that you resonate with uh try it out see for yourself like i said a year later i can definitely give better feedback, and yes, things that they have predicted have resonated with me. They have happened. So the gift that me and Keen are offering you is for new customers only, $1.99 for the first 10 minutes. You can use these 10 minutes to either start a chat with an expert, a phone call, whatever you prefer. And of course, I always recommend to read reviews before you start a chat or a phone call. That way you know what to expect or that way you can see what other people have experienced with this particular expert. And of course, Keen offered me a link, my personal link that you can use to sign up for this deal for $1.99 for the first 10 minutes. It is trykeen.com111. You can use that link as a new customer. Sign up, the sign up process is very easy. This website is very addicting, but at the same time, very fun. And um, I think a lot of people, especially right now, wanna know what 2021 can bring, especially after such a tough year. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity to share with you guys. And yes, of course, I am an affiliate. Just wanna, just wanna let you know that, okay? <laughs> However, this is a really great deal, really great discount. And of course, I'm really happy to share it with you. Now on to the yearly readings. Hi Gemini, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your 2021 terror reading. I cannot believe 2020 is almost over. I mean, I'm still recording this in 2020. Um, if you guys want to compare readings, you can watch 2020 yearly reading and see how it resonated with you. So you can kind of figure out how this reading is going to resonate with you. Okay, so let's start. Let's see what Gemini's can expect to happen in uh, 2021. Can Gemini's expect to happen in 2021? One, it's an easier year, okay? There will be 
uh, no Mars retrograde, Venus will retrograde at the very, very end, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's really, it's not going to be the same influence as 2020 brought you, okay? There will be only four eclipses instead of six, which is considered normal, you know? Okay. And one more. All right. Nice. So, we do have King of Pentacles at the bottom here. This could be a year where Geminis might stay, might become focused or stay focused on their resources, on their financial situation. You know, this could be improving your financial standing. This could be starting your own business. This could be also investing your finances into a project, into whatever this could be. Um, King of Pentacles is like a businessman or a businesswoman, somebody that is set, somebody that is goal-oriented and they want to work on something tangible or something stable so that they and their families don't have to worry, right? On the other hand, King of Pentacles here does indicate a different person, you know, somebody else that you might be dealing with. This could be an earth sign, this could maybe um, signify a friend, you know, someone that is very stable and not doesn't have to be financial, right? This could be just someone that you can trust. Uh, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, these people are usually not very emotional, you know, but they are trustworthy, they are reliable, you can come to them, you can ask for advice, uh, they can give you advice, you know, they can share, you can share whatever you want with them. That person could be very significant in, uh, almost said in the month, in the year of 2021. However, again, like I said, it can also signify you focusing a lot more on your security, focusing a lot more on stability, okay? So we're starting out the year with Seven of Cups, and this is, well, roughly... First three months or so, first five months of the year. No, not five months, three months or so. Um, Seven of Cups does talk about many opportunities coming your way. I do believe that 2020 limited a lot of us in terms of opportunities, you know, in terms of new ideas, in terms of progress. We may have had to either deal with what we already have, uh, improve it somehow, rework it, reevaluate it, or um, it could be that, you know, the ideas that were coming our way were hard to achieve. They could require a lot more work than it was worth, right? Uh, there could be many different complications in terms of new beginnings. However, Seven of Cups here in 2021 uh, does indicate these opportunities kind of flowing your way, finally, uh, one after another. Of course, Seven of Cups always warns you that yes, the opportunities are coming, but not all of them are going to be great, not all of them are going to be worth it, so you gotta research you gotta look at every single option you gotta decide you gotta figure out what exactly you need right so why seven of cups here and i want to say for those let's say that um are interested in romantic life right now that i saw king of pentacles at the bottom this could also be a romantic story for those that are interested in that and maybe didn't have so much luck in 2020 um it could be just, you know, that uh, karma in your love life that you may have had to pay off in 2020. Now 2021 brings you all these new suitors, you know, someone that you can um, consider, someone that you can get interested in and uh, do, your <laughs> do your research, get to know people, you know. It will be not as limiting in terms of new connections maybe, in terms of dating. It will be more um, available to you. And... Yeah, uh, for, by the way, for a lot of you, again, um, I, I do believe this could be in terms of personal life, um, but we also have four of cups, seven of swords, uh, knight of swords, strength, and ace of cups. 
So um, you may have to leave the emotional side behind, which I think it would be easy for you to do, but you also need to stop yourself from making any fast decisions, any decisions that may be, you know, kind of spontaneous, out of the blue. You can't really do that. You know, in, in, in the beginning of 2021, Knight of Swords does talk about spontaneity and quickness of decisions, and a lot of times mistakes followed by those spontaneous decisions so you may have to really feel it out in the beginning of the year if these opportunities come to you in terms of career then it could be that you may uh, you may kind of do research on each one of them on each position maybe and try and figure out which one would be the best for you um, in love life suitors will be coming around and maybe you gotta you gotta kind of look at them from different perspectives and see which one do you really feel that connection with you know because strength is not just mental strength or whatever strength is actually about a connection a connection between people that is unexplainable that is almost like out of control hard to control right you almost feel controlled by a different party which it's not really good but uh on the other hand it's just asking you to simply do your research it's asking you to choose wisely in the beginning of the year because with ace of cups you are setting up for some nice emotional experiences for some romance here for some emotional satisfaction from let's say choosing a career path um buying a property or something like that you know there's definitely a lot happening here where you make a choice and you make a choice wisely and you do your research and you are very satisfied at the end now moving towards the middle of the year and i would say maybe sometime in uh, summer even we have page of once again more opportunities flowing your way guys you know it seems like uh, 2020 was so pressing it, it kind of put you in a bubble didn't really let you move forward it did set new goals it did set new karmic um karmic um i would say goals yes and uh some kind of um new new paths that we are supposed to follow and not everybody, of course, is going to follow those, right? But if you do everything right, if you know exactly what you need out of the situation, you will continue at that pace, you will move forward, you will know exactly what you're doing and whatever you are doing is right for you. So page of wands brings you more opportunities. <laughs> They're coming your way. Uh, it's something exciting. It's something that you are curious about. It's lots of um, interaction, by the way, with others. So for Gemini's, it's going to be nice because, you know, not only the North Node is going to be in Gemini to where they are kind of going to be the center of attention, but also everything that's going to be happening, you know, they will be leading it in some way and they will be making sure, you know, that this... The situations, the people uh, that surround them are good for them in some way, are good for their karma. Karma will be looking at you guys, uh, will be watching you closely in 2021, okay? And I believe that, again, if you have good intentions, if you know what you're doing, if you, not just that you want to benefit from it, but also if this is something that can maybe benefit others, right? Uh, you will be good with it. You will succeed at it. And again, more eyes, more connections, more ideas, more opportunities, more people, uh, more acquaintances will be attracted your way, okay? So it's a very good, I want to say, financial business year for you, right? And also in terms of choosing the right partner. Um, I don't see it go, don't see you going back to the past, okay? I do not see you dealing with the past connections, past jobs, past whatever, new it's a futuristic type of year new goals so why is page of wands here yeah <laughs> just like i said we're not dealing with the old we're dealing with the new we are dealing with new fresh 
optimistic, positive energy, light at the end of the tunnel for some. For others, it's just new, it's exciting, it's bright, it's colorful. You're done with your old life. And obviously, I'm talking about career and love. You know, it can be different for everyone. And finally, let's say hypothetically, you are using all the opportunities that are coming your way. You are taking all of these opportunities. You are being selective in some way, yes, but you're also being productive. You're also using those opportunities not only for your own good, but also maybe to benefit others in some way. Uh, it's a win-win situation here. Uh, you are looking towards the new path, not the past. Again, the past, if you continue looking at the past, Karma, North Node, uh, whatever you want to call it, is going to drag you out of your past still. So while this is a year of receiving opportunities, taking those opportunities, and looking at the future, it's also about really being able to let go of the past and let go of something that doesn't serve you anymore so you can build a future, okay? We're starting with the Fool, or I should say we're ending the year with the Fool. And the Fool is, um, well, this could be the energy of fall and winter, right? Leading up to 2022. The Fool is number zero in tarot. This is how the whole storyline starts. This is the energy where everything begins. The major arcanas, they all start from zero, right? So what does that mean? Starting with a from a clean slate, uh, jumping off the cliff in some way, taking a risk, but taking a risk towards your future, not towards your past. Enough with the past, okay? 2020 was the past, right? 2020 was reevaluating everything. How many planets went retrograde? How many planets forced us to go back to our past? To look at it all over again to maybe forgive to let go to try again you know 2021 is not going to be that kind of year so why is the fool here i don't even want to clarify it <laughs> oh wow i mean i guess i should have uh, i should have um clarified it because it, it makes sense but you know, when we start from a fresh page, fresh even book, I would say, not even just a page in the book, we're making big decisions. We are uh, changing a lot. This is a drastic change, guys, and not that it will happen quickly, but it's more like your life will be like before and after. You know, it will be different. Uh, once those changes come in or once you initiate those changes and while it's so stressful at first you know it's stressful it is something that maybe you've never done before and even though gemini is mutable energy and you're kind of on the go and it's okay for you um to kind of keep moving forward just the fact that your sign will be in the spotlight and the eclipses sorry uh, pregnant heartburns <laughs> and it's like they stop me every five seconds if you've noticed when I stop and that kind of swallow that's because I'm experiencing horrible heartburn uh, you know that energy where you are stressed about uh, moving forward stressed about changing something eclipses will be happening in your sign you guys will be in the spotlight just like Sagittarius just like Aquarius <laughs> um, you may need to really mm, not be brave you need to be confident because what you're doing here is so healthy it's so great for you we do have two of cups growing into three of cups successful partnerships coming in 2021 successful decisions getting along with someone having a reason to celebrate growing a partnership into something where it's not just you and somebody else it's you somebody else and everybody else around they can kind of celebrate this union it could be a wedding for some of you 
uh, you, you know, with the fool, you're starting a completely new life, like let's say married life. You, maybe you could be having a, some kind of a successful business partnership. Begin, because again, keep your eyes open in 2021. The opportunities will be coming, but you will need to pay attention to them. You will need to be selective. You can grab them all. But at the same time, you need to be open to all these different ideas, all these different new things. And it will be working in your favor and it will be helpful. And yes, the main goal is to look into your future, accept what the future holds, accept what the future is offering you. Because all of these opportunities, guys, and all these connections that will be coming to you in 2021 will be from your future, not from your past. That's kind of what at least I got uh, from um, the spread, okay? Beautiful year, but you will be in the spotlight and you will be making decisions yourself, okay? And that's all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.